Hello, my dear uh, pilot friends, patronizing my channel. And hope you're all benefiting from the videos that I have been putting up for you and enjoying them as much I'm doing in putting them up for you. Today, we are going to cover a navigation aid called VOR. Very high frequency omnidirectional radio range. And I shall be restricting myself to the part of how to tackle the numericals. We won't be covering uh, too much of theory. Okay. And uh, VOR is an advanced version of automatic direction finder. It works in the VHF range and hence is not subject to disturbances due to weather. And also if you're flying at a high altitude, gives you a long range. Remember range of VHF. Like ADF, it can give me QDMs on a RMI. It does not have a RBI, relative bearing indicator. Now, this aircraft has got two VORs. Fine. VOR A and B, these are tuned. And here you can read the radial. And from VOR A, plot the radial. From VOR B, plot the radial in this direction. And here is your aircraft. On track, good. Off track, take action. You can even take a three VOR fix, three position lines at one time. Next, what else can I use it for? Lot of very useful things which I can do during my flight to make my life comfortable. It can help you fly a track, okay, without much of an effort. The, this particular uh, course deviation indicator, that's the indicator of the VOR, tells you whether you are left or right of the desired course, which you set on top over here. My desired course is 050, so I will set 050 on top. And in respect of 0, 050 0 and 230, this line, black line, it will tell me whether I'm to the left or right and by how many degrees. And there's no need to go so many degrees out. All that you can do is maintain this CDI needle in the center. If it goes away from the center, yes, then it becomes a numerical and 1 in 60 rule is applied. Right. And it has got five dot indicator, four dot indicator, and two dot indicator. Total deflection of this force deviation needle is 10 degrees. On a five dot indicator, it shows you two degrees per dot deviation from your selected course. On four dot indicator, 2.5, and on a two dot indicator, five degrees. A dot is your deviation from your selected course. Now, it's very simple instrument to use provided you know how to use it. And what should I do? Number one, select the desired course on top which you are flying. What is aircraft B flying? On radial 230 tracking in, he is flying QDM of 050. A is tracking out on radial 050, so he is also flying 050. A and B should select a course of 050 with the help of this knob called Omni Bearing Selector knob. C and D should select 230 degrees. After that, just follow the needle. Needle goes to left, go to right, left, right, right, and remain on this track. You can't do it, ask the autopilot. 
that will do it for you. It will maintain the track for you. The summary of this, what I'm trying to tell you is what should we select? When you are tracking out from a VOR, maintain the radial on which you are tracking out. For D, radial will be 230 OBS and for A, will be radial 050 as the OBS. A and D are tracking out. And that is known as the correct sense. B and C who are tracking in should select their QDM as the OBS. And once you have selected correct OBS, follow the needle that is known as the correct sense. And there is a flag also that will also point in the correct direction. An upright flag means two and inverted triangle means from. Now here, if your OBS is 0, 5, 0, flag will show you from. I know, okay, I'm going from. For B, if I select OBS 0, 5, 0, it will show you a flag 2 and it is right, I'm going to. Tracking in is also called homing. Okay. Now, how do we attack the numericals? Little bit of effort required to learn it. And once you learn how does this OBS work, you are able to attack the numericals. So in the question, first you read the OBS. If OBS is given to you 005, draw a line in the direction of 005 and a direction in line in the direction of 185 degrees. Remember all directions in the VOR are the magnetic directions. Be very, very careful. Now, find out, am I on this half of the VOR? This is the VOR in the center, or am I in this half of the VOR? That means, 005, I've selected as OBS. Am I tracking out or tracking in maintaining 005? Oh. For that, refer your question. If it is given, very fine. Otherwise, find out from the relative bearing indicator. ADF, your uh, OBS selected is 005 because you're flying in the direction of 005, which could be here or here. If you are here, it will be, ADF will be showing you the station is in front, 000. If you are here, OBS will be showing you station is behind you, near 180. Why near? Plus minus drift. And flag will also help you in the same way. If you are in the correct sense, here the flag will show you to, and on this side flag will show you from, and also take the help of your RMI. If you are anywhere on this line, RMI will indicate a QDM of 185. If you are on this line, RMI will indicate a QDM of 005. Put a little bit of effort and you will know where you are. After that, find out are you on track or off track. If you are on track, CDI needle will be in the center. If CDI is deflected, you are left or right of the track means one of these lines. How many degrees will be known by the number of dots? Five dot indicator, four dots, eight degrees. And while deciding, are you to the left or right? Let's say I'm on this side, tracking in, and I've selected 005. It will show me eight degrees, four dots means eight degrees of closing angle. But am I 8 degrees this side or this side? If your OBS selected is correct, then it is showing you what to do. Follow the needle. Needle goes to the right means you are to the left here. I have to turn right. If needle shows you fly left, that means I'm somewhere on this line, 8 degrees angle. And I have to fly left. Follow the needle. If it is reverse sensing, then it will be telling you where you are and not what to do. And your uh, heading being flown should be in agreement with the OBS. In agreement means it may not, if I'm going here, it may not OBS 
may not be 0, 0, 5, I guess like 0, 4, 5, 0, 6, 5, in case I want to intercept this within plus minus 80 degrees, then the needle will tell you correct sense. Beyond that, it will give you reverse sense. Now let's do this numerical. If you have followed this part, if not, read it again before you attempt the numerical. Now this aircraft is uh, tracking out on radial 090. So draw the line only in one direction now. I know that I am on this line and I'm tracking out. Draw this arrow. I don't have to draw it on both sides. There is an NDB co-located here and a distance measuring equipment transmitter. And OBS selected is 090. Therefore, the needle will be correct sense and it will tell me what to do. And it's a five dot indicator. He says the needle is indicating three dots fly right. That means I'm six degrees and I'm to the left because needle is telling me to fly right. Six degrees to left. Now I'm established. How many radial of? Zero, eight, four. And he says, you are 90 nautical miles from DME. What is your distance off track? So here is my fix, radio fix. I am on radio 084, 90 nautical miles from this ground station. So here is my fix, my position at the moment. He has given me a drift also. Drift I will use for my ADF. Right? He says, what is your present radial? Tell him 084. Present QDM 264. What is distance off track? He says if the DME reach 90, okay. Track error 6 degrees is equal to distance off track by 90 into 69 nautical miles. Give him the answer 9 nautical miles. And he wants to know now what will be your indication on relative bearing indicator. On the RMI, both for ADF. And the VOR, RMI will indicate at 264. That is because your current radial is 084. On relative bearing indicator, QDM is 264. Magnetic heading being flown is 085 due to this drift. And you will get your bearing relative 179. Okay. Now, if you haven't understood it for the first time, don't be disheartened. But do it twice, thrice. Make sure before you go for the examination, you have fully understood it and you are able to answer all the questions. And this instrument is fitted virtually in every aircraft nowadays and you will be using it on daily basis. And before I close this lesson for the day. There is one more VOR lesson coming up shortly. After that, I will give you question paper. And uh, don't forget to like if you have enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to share the channel link with your group of pilot friends. Good luck. All the best. Happy landings. See you again.